we're on a 10 acre piece of land here in St. Charles, Illinois. We've got 115,000 square feet, 35,000 in the office, 80,000 on the shop floor. Currently we're producing about 1,600 gear motors per day, five days a week. There's a mix of you know different SKUs, different product lines. We probably have close to 30, 35 different product lines themselves um, and the variations in the mix. Um, each one has different SKUs for different ratios, different horsepower, different ratings for voltages. So we vary our products um, you know, based on customer demand, customer requirements, and the product lines that we also build. We, we focus on servicing our, our customers, first and foremost. Uh, we like to say we are bison gear and engineering, with, with emphasis on the and engineering part. There's probably 30-35% of our staff are, are degreed engineers. Uh, we take that role very seriously. We work with our customers, both OEM and distributors, to make sure we're providing the right solution uh, to our customers. On the factory floor, we have four basic areas right now. We have gear cutting, casting, machining, motor winding, and then final assembly. In the gear cutting area, we're bringing in steel bar stock, cut into slices of slugs, if you will, and we're machining that into gear blanks. Then we're putting that on a gear cutting machine, it's called hobbing machines, and we cut the gear teeth. So we've got about 25% of our shop floor dedicated to cutting gears and pinions and, and gears on the end of motor shafts. Then we'll send it outside for heat treat, we bring it back in and then it's ready for assembly. We've got our machine shop where we're buying raw aluminum castings. We own the molds, but we don't do the casting ourselves. We bring the castings in, we do the machining operations, all the critical features, bearing bores, casting surfaces, mounting holes, uh, locator holes and then uh, we do all the complete machining and then, then that's ready for motor assembly or regular assembly. Uh, we have our, our high level of, of quality standards that both incoming product must meet before it goes into our finished goods as well as all the process uh, steps and inspection that it goes through before a product leaves our door. In the motor department we're doing two types of motors. We, run, we wind PMDC motors and we wind induction AC motors. On the PMDC side, we have two frame sizes, two and a half and a 3.1 inch. We go from about a 50th horsepower up to about a third horsepower. Starting with the motor shaft, laminations, copper wire, we wind the armatures. We make the yoke and magnet assemblies, we machine the end bells. assemble it all, magnetize it, and then we've got a finished uh, DC motor that goes over to, to the assembly department. On the AC side, we start with laminations again and copper wire. We wind the stator, we do a lot of uh, inspection test on the stator, we varnish it, we uh, turn the rotor core on the rotor shaft, we put it all together and now we've got a finished uh, AC motor and then all those parts flow into assembly. In assembly, we're taking the motors and the gears and the castings and we're basically putting them all together, adding lubricant, sealing the gearbox, doing a full load test, making sure it matches the customer specifications, putting it in a box and shipping it out the door. So the relationship between motion and, and bison is a very strong one. We consider motion one of our one of our best partners going forward, both on the from a supplier standpoint and as a as a customer. We had lubricants that we were buying from somebody else in the past, and we introduced the opportunity to motion. And by teaming up with motion and bringing the product from motion as, as from the previous supply source, now we have product that's readily available. It's stored at one of the local motion branches. And the grease is a pretty large buy, hundred thousand dollars a year that was recently switched over to Motion. And we consider Motion to be a very strong partner for us. So there's many times that Motion does a much better job of getting into a customer and servicing that customer than Bison can do in and of itself. They can provide logistics support, 
local inventory, uh, technical assistance, et cetera, cost of, uh, cost of ownership or the whole experience cost is, is improved by working through motion as opposed to buying from Bison or any other individual company uh, directly.